All right, welcome back to the Super Coach Nuff channel. In this video, we're going to do the round two review and round three preview for Super Coach BBL. Uh, and as you can see, it was a pretty good week for me. Um, so ranked 112th for the round. Um, and I guess that was, I should have said the score first, but uh, 1,334. Um, as I said, almost top 100 in the round and into the top, or well, just outside the top 250 overall. So about top 0.5% overall. <coughs> Excuse me, if we have a look at the team. So, uh, Philippi was uh, our wicket keeper. He scored a 45, which was decent. Um, but I guess the the big uh, boost was our uh, vice captain, as it turned out to be. So uh, we cap VC'd uh, uh, Matt Short, and uh, he he went big on the on the first game. So obviously uh, most people use the loophole there, uh, but he ended up with two hundred and seventy points, which double that is five hundred and forty, which is a massive haul of points. Uh, Will Sutherland with the twenty seven was a bit disappointing. Um, we traded him in this week, but his his job is more so in the uh, the next game week. Aaron Hardy with a 130 was awesome. Uh, Maxwell was obviously a loophole um, after Matt Short's big first game. Uh, and Darcy Short um, with a 94 was pretty decent as well. Uh, probably the only real mistake that we made uh, was on the bench. Uh, we emergency Colin, Colin Munro um, instead of Fraser McGurk. Cost us about 80 points. Um, but when you've got 1,300 points on the board, you probably can't be too critical of something like that. Um, and then the bowlers, so Jamie Overton was the pick with 195. So it looks like he has a very similar role to uh, Daniel Sams at the Thunder. Bats, you know, sort of number six, you know, bowls a few overs, particularly, I guess, at the death. Um, not that I saw the games, I'm not exactly sure where he bowled, but it, it sort of has that vibe based on the score. Uh, Adam Zampa with the 28, again, solid, not spectacular, but his uh, main purpose is to help us out this game week coming up. Uh, Payne, you know, 86 was okay, you know, two games, 43 average, okay, that, that's all right. Uh, Sanger with the 25, you know, he was okay. Um, and Menenti didn't end up getting picked, they went with uh, Cam Boyce, the leg spinner. Um, Obviously, because, you know, they were basically playing with the all-rounders, Overton, Baisley. They didn't really need the batting. Um, but it worked out to our advantage because we got a uh, big, tall Paul score with 152. So a massive game from him. Runs, wickets, the whole lot. Um, Bartlett was good too with a 47. But, you know, that 150 really helped us out with the, uh, the overall score. So, as you can see, we've got, I think it works out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players on buy this week. So, we are going to do four trades. That was always the plan. Uh, we're going to look, obviously, at the two Melbourne teams, the Renegades and the Stars. So, um, Renegades are probably in better form, but the Stars, because they've only played two games, are probably going to be more useful throughout the rest of the season. So, you know, we'll, we'll probably try to balance it out between the two teams. Um so the trade-outs um, are going to be... We're going to fix up our Menenti mistake. So get out of Menenti. Oh, got to do all the trades in here. So we're going to trade out Munro. He's done his job for us. Um, Payne, you know, and we, we just need his money really. And Bartlett's made us a bit of cash too, so it's time to cash out on him. Um, you know, you might think we'll get rid of all the Brisbane assets. They've already played four of their ten games. Um, but as you can see, Paul Walter has a break even of negative 68. He's still got a lot of money to make for us. So we'll hold him. Um, we can get away with holding the other guys, including Matt Short. Um, because even though, you know, we've got 278k sitting on the bench, um, the players we want to bring in, um, do represent some good value. Uh, so the first player we're going to bring in into our batting lineup, uh, and we've earmarked him for a while. Um, and despite a couple of stumbles uh, to start the season, uh, if we can find him, he's a fair way down the list, but uh, Quinton de Kock. You know, we've got him at a bit of a discount now because of that slow start, but um, I think, you know, he's always a chance of, of scoring us some good runs at the top of the order. Um, obviously, then, we've got three bowling slots to fill, 
Uh, so we'll try and find the right ones. Here we go, players scoring points. So the first player we'll bring in is Harris Ralph from the Stars. So I think he is their, their biggest threat with the ball. Obviously, Coulton Isle is out with that injury. Um, so Harris Ralph. Um, Marcus Stoinis we're going to bring in as well um, because, uh, you know, he has that dual threat, bat and ball, you know, double game week. We're going to bank on him possibly being able to do something um, with one of those things for us. Um, and then the third pick, as you can see, we've still got 200k, so we can, you know, pick and choose who we want. And it really comes down to a toss-up, and I'll see if I can squeeze them both in the picture. So we've got Majib at the Renegades there at the top, and uh, Mia, or Mia, I'm not sure how to say that, um, the leg spinner from the uh, the Melbourne Stars. So in the middle there, you might see Liam Dawson and sort of gravitate towards him. He's had a good start to the season. Uh, however, he'll only play the first game on this afternoon before uh, Christmas. And then after, in the Boxing Day game, uh, they'll bring in uh, Wazim from Pakistan, uh, the leg spinning all-rounder. Or is he left arm? I can't... No, he's left arm finger spin, that's right. Um, <laughs> get, getting all the spinners confused. So it is a toss-up between these two. Um, and just because we've already got a few of the Renegades, and as we said, the Stars actually have more games in the back end of the season, um, we're actually going to go with Mia. So uh, if we complete those trades, so you can see there, Menenti, Munro, Payne, Bartlett all out. Ralph, DeCock, Stoinis, and Mia in. Uh, and so then if we do a little bit of a shuffling of the team... So DeCock will come in, Fraser and Kirk will come in, and Mayor will come in. So I guess then all that's really left once we've got the players, you know, we don't have a lot of decisions to make other than Philippi McDermott. Based on form, we're going to stick with Philippi. Um, is just deciding on the, the captaincy structure. So obviously if you've got very little to do today and you're going to watch, uh, you know, a bit of Big Bash, um, what I would do is VC uh, Maxwell and, you know, you can always captain someone like Sutherland and see how it goes during the first game. Um, I don't know if I have that luxury, so I do have to make a decision whether I want to straight see Maxwell or, you know, look elsewhere for a, a captaincy option. Um, so, you know, I'm just thinking maybe for me, the better option is just to straight see Maxwell. And that's just purely because, um, as you can tell, this video is sort of being done on the phone. I am on holidays. Uh, I won't be sitting watching the cricket all afternoon, as great as that sounds. Um, <laughs> gotta, gotta do the family thing. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll lock the team in as is and, you know, we'll see how we go. We're, we're off to a great start. You know, that does give us the luxury of, you know, maybe doing something like just the safe captain in Maxwell, um, who has been named in the squad. It should be mentioned he did have that uh, wrist or elbow injury or whatever it was. Um, but he is in the squad for today's game, so you'd imagine he'll play. Um, you know, so we can captain him. We can hold the likes of Matt Short, you know, Overton and Walter. So there's like close to 600k on our bench, but... The fact is, is that, you know, the squad we've got is pretty good. Um, and, you know, going forward, um, we should be able to, you know, continue to make enough moves to, to hopefully keep pace and see how high we can get. Uh, but we'll, we'll leave the video there. Um, so as always, if you've got any thoughts or questions, feel free to comment. Like, I won't promise I'll get back to you straight away, but I will try and have a look as much as possible over the next couple of days uh, if you enjoy the BBL content remember give the videos a like um, subscribe to the channel for all of the fantasy stuff there will be another uh, I think Premier League video that will sort of be on the phone sort of this very short sharp style um, but then after that I should be able to to get back and pump out some uh, content in time for things like the NFL um, NBL, even the next round of Big Bash, that sort of thing. 
um, and also Super Coach NRL and, and AFL for those that play. Team Pick is now open. That video is coming once we get back from uh, Christmas. But um, I guess other than that, uh, if you do celebrate it, enjoy your Christmas. And other than that, we'll see you in the next one.